Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the control scheme present in permanent magnet synchronous machine. So a permanent magnet synchronous motor requires a control system, for example a variable frequency drive or a servo motor drive. There are a large number of the control techniques implemented control system. The choice of the optimal control method mainly depends on the task that is put in the front of the electrical drive. The main method for controlling a permanent magnet synchronous motor are so the table given below. So there is two type of control. One is called the sinusoidal control, another is called the trapezoidal control. So in a sinusoidal control, divide into three category, sorry, two category, scalar control and vector control, and vector control further classified into two category, field oriented control and direct torque control. Then the field oriented control are further subclassified with position sensor or without position sensor. So firstly discuss the scalar control techniques. The advantage of this technique is a simple control scheme and disadvantage of this technique is control is not optimum. Optimum or optimal not suitable for the task whereas the variable load. Losses of control is possible. Now we will move on the second techniques, vector control, field oriented control and with position sensor. Advantage smooth and precise settings of the rotor position and the motor rotating speed. Large control range. The drawbacks of this method is require rotor position sensor and powerful microcontroller inside the control system. So the system is costly. In a field orientation control without position sensor no rotor position sensing is required this is the advantage a smooth and precise setting of the rotor position and the motor rotating speed large control range but less than the position sensor the drawback of this technique is sensorless field oriented control over full speed range is possible only for permanent magnet synchronous motor with salient pole rotor a powerful control system is required so this is also costly now next we will move on direct torque control the advantage of this technique is simple control circuit good dynamic performance wide control range no rotor position sensing is required the drawback of this method is high torque and current ripple now next we will move on trapezoidal control this is also divided into two category open loop control and closed loop control. In an open loop control, the advantage of this technique is a simple control scheme. The drawback of this technique is control is not optimum, not suitable for the task where the variable load and loss of control is possible. Then we will move on closed loop control with position sensor, with Hall effect sensor. Advantage simple control scheme and the drawbacks Hall effect sensor required and there are the torque ripple It is intended for the control of permanent magnet synchronous machine with trapezoidal um, back EMF When controlling permanent magnet synchronous machine with sinusoidal back EMF the average torque is over by 5% Now though without sensor the more powerful control system required this is the advantage of the system and this scheme not suitable for the lower speed operation there are torque ripple and it is intended for the control of permanent magnet synchronous motor with the trapezoidal back emf and when controlling the permanent magnet synchronous machine with the sinusoidal back emf the average torque is lower than by the five percent so these are the two control schemes and further classified into the other schemes the main scheme is sinusoidal and trapezoidal control this is most popular control scheme present in permanent magnet synchronous machine to solve simple task is usually used trapezoidal control with the hall effect sensing for example computer fan to solve problem that require the maximum performance from the electrical drive field oriented control is usually selected so in this lecture we will study about the different control scheme 
used in a permanent magnet synchronous machine. Thank you for watching the video.